what do we got today? So today, we're reviewing my Dachi Dust of Dawn 900. Now, it's something that I've had for about a year now, and I'm gonna go into a bit of a review of it. We're out currently out here in the middle of Australia. We're in Alice Springs, I'm out at the clay pans. The rig's out, she's kinda clean, and the swag's out, all set up. And I'm gonna go through just a bit of everything to do with this swag. So settle in, buckle up, let's go. This is the Dust of Dawn. This is the Darchi Dust of Dawn swag. Now, this is not sponsored by Darchi at all, um, but just a bit of an intro. So I've got the, had this thing for, what have I had it? For about a year now. Time for some new gear. I've purchased some new camping gear. Give me a second. I have bought a new swag. I'm upgrading from the King's Quickie. It, great swag. Great swag, but it's time for something new. I've bought the Darcy single, Dust of Dawn. This looks sick. I could have gone to King's, King single. It's a good looking swag, I'll tell you that. This is it. The Dachi King, Dachi single dusted on. It is sick. And I've actually been on and off the road for probably most of that time, nine, 10 months. Um, I did a good two months at the start, straight like pretty much every night in this swag. And other than that, I've had a few other times where I've had like a couple weeks here and there and I just did another two weeks in it. And yeah, it's been great. Like I previously had the King's Quickie swag, the little coffin thing. So this is this is gonna be, yeah, this, this, this is the swag, this is it. This is the one year in. And yeah, it's been going pretty good overall so far. You know, like I, I, put, I did a lot of research when I went into it. I wanted to get something good, you know, I was sleeping most nights, I can sleep in the car if I need to, but most nights I was in the swag. I actually run it on an Austral uh, jumbo stretcher from time to time where I've pulled up for a few days or if it's wet on the ground, but mostly it's in, in the swag. So yeah, this thing, this thing's great. Like it's been going pretty, pretty great so far. All right, so one thing I will jump into with this swag is when I first bought it, it had the old style um, end poles, these bad boys, and they now since have a new composite um, range, but these, the old ones were like the classic uh, hollow tent style like poles. And I knew there was a little issues with them, but I didn't think it would be as bad as it was. Now within the first week, I'd snapped one of them, and then the, in the following week I snapped another. I was able to pick up uh, another set of pe another pair from a camping store, but they were still the old range. The new range didn't come out till about late September, so and some of the stores didn't have them yet. But that's probably the biggest thing. And now, if you buy a Dust of Dawn series now, you use these composite um, material, which is it's th it's not hollow. They're super malleable. You can fully bend them. Like I feel like when I was bending the old poles, you felt like they were going to snap, and it was a known issue. And luckily, Darcy was really good with the warranty and stuff, and I was able to pick up a pair. And they gave me another extra pair as well when I got to the store in Melbourne. But I did have to chop and change and use some hose to like connect them to make sure it would work. But yeah, a few nights, like yeah, like literally in the middle of the night, it, one of them snapped, and it just like doesn't hold its shape and would fall in. And had this side fully like sagged down for a, for a couple of nights there. But other than that, you know. It's been really good. It wasn't all, it's all, not been all great since the start, but other than that, other than the poles, this thing, yeah, this thing's great, you know? So, comfort and design. Now this thing, I just like can't fault it for its design. I mean, there's a lot of different swag ranges out there and um, this is the very like, probably most common, the dome. Now you can get a variety of them. Um, you can get like more traditional swag tights where you're just like on the ground or you can get more like compact uh better to travel with ones but 
because I had the space on the roof to put it on. I knew I needed something good. I can fully like sit up in there, heaps of room. It's not like as claustrophobic as some other swags. You can sleep in it like either end. This thing like fully opens up. Like this wall here, it has the same on the other side, so it doesn't matter what side you're on. Um, I just love the dome, perfect height. This thing is so easy to set up, honestly. Like, I almost went for a rooftop tent, but I didn't in the end. And I'm so glad I did. Like, I didn't. Like, this thing, it, this is not like budget range either, I've got to say. Um, they're about 400 at the moment. I paid a little bit less um, a while ago, like about a year ago. But yeah, the comfort and design, like this thing, the canvas quality is so good. That was one of the biggest things, I think, jumping from the, the King swag to this. The quality of the canvas is great and the PVC um, tub bottom layer, it's so strong. You know, I sleep on this like all the time. So 70 mil mattress, it's great. Um, it's a little thicker than the Kings. I just, uh, you know, I sleep on it a lot and I never like once had a worry. I never once like hated it. So it was, it's been sick ever since. Yeah, I can't fault the design. You can fully like open it up on the insides of either end and you can like add extra bits to the front to like store your shoes or have extra storage. Um, I can't remember what they call that, like a hutchie or something? But um, yeah, it's been sick. Middle pole I've never had an issue with. Um, these new poles are insane. They're so much stronger, so much more malleable. In this many nights, in a couple of storms and big rain squalls, whether I was under my awning or just out in the weather, and I never, I've never had it leak. I mean, sometimes you get a little bit of condensation in the lining, but that's because of just the weather and you're sleeping in it constantly. But other than that, like I, you're fully dry. This thing dry, if you can get this in the sun, it, it dries so quick. So far, a year on and using it quite like quite a lot in a year, this thing has been going really well. And I think if you look after it, it's gonna be great. Now, build quality. This thing, she's strong. You're paying, it's not top of the range. Like it's not the, you know, top, 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 but it's probably like mid, mid to high, I would say. It's built really well. Um, I love just having the three hooks on the side. It runs in this section that works really well. The pole in the middle, like game changing. This thing, like free stands. I love that it free stands. I never have to put the pegs in the ground. I rarely put the pegs in the ground. I'll put the pegs on these to like give it a bit of air, but I'll rarely put the pegs in the corners on the ends um but yeah the pvc super strong never had it leak um i'm sleeping on quite rough surfaces sometimes like car like kind of gravelly car park rest stops and yeah haven't haven't had any issues with it leaking or whatnot i really i seasoned it when i got it which you don't necessarily have to do these days if it's really good canvas but yeah the canvas is top quality you could like coming from a king swag to this it's so good you know you're paying for a really good name bad name brand as well it might be the day the Darchi Dusted On series for like just on your own could be the best swag on them in that like kind of market I'd say. I'll touch on the price briefly. So um, I purchased mine from Snowy's um, out, uh, Outdoor Gear online. Must have paid, it was like 10% off. They always kind of have some sort of like weird little sale. I like, I would say buy it through Darchi themselves or like your local outdoor camping store. But yeah, I paid, they're about like sit between about 400 I think at the moment. I paid about 350 um, or 340, so I got it like a little cheaper, and I hummed in hard for so long about it. Did so much, <laughs> probably too much research. You can do too much, and you like just don't know what to get. And you know, I was looking at this or 230 or oh, I can't even remember the other ones. But yeah, price really good. You know, I hope to like get many years out of this swag, and I really think I will. So yeah, price is really good. It's not super high end, but it's not bottom end. You probably could get one second hand for a good price, I'd say, if you can. I haven't had any of the zips, anything like that. Like nothing feels like flimsy, it all seals pretty good, apart from the poles originally, but yeah, price is great. Like can't go wrong. Now, overall, the Darchi Dust Adorn 900. Honestly, just like, might be the it, it's probably the best swag on the market i'd say can't go wrong i'd love this thing if you take care it's like anything you take i've said this many times in my videos if you take care of something
something like your camp piece of camp gear like i'm pretty pedantic about everything but honestly if you do take care of it it's gonna last long like i've got my dachi awning side awning and i've had that longer than this and it's, that's been going really good as well um yeah like honestly like can't go wrong apart from the poles originally at the start but once i got these new ones like this thing like this thing bends like that now if i did that with the last set of poles it thing would have snapped it's, it's not sagging i've used it a lot like this middle pole is like game changing this thing just like i love this thing so much it's i'm so glad i got it you know i've I'm, I'm been on the on and off the road like pretty consistently over the past 10 months and it's just yeah can't fault it honestly would recommend not sponsored by dachi but if they do see this you've come up with something great and don't change it it's incredible yeah if you're looking for a swag in the market can't go wrong with this bad boy would recommend and get around it check out all my other camping vids there's a ton of them out there so yep you'll see them pop up and please like subscribe comment tell me what what's good what's going on where you've been camping what, what have i been doing what have you been doing and that is all see you next time